Welcome to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Each week, Joey answers your questions about the law and how it affects you. Will I go to jail for a DUI? If you are found guilty of a DUI first offense in Mississippi, you could be looking at up to 48 hours in jail. There are a couple of things that hiring an attorney does. First, if you're successful at beating the DUI, then it's like it never happened. And the only time you're going to spend in jail is the time you spent for the initial arrest. However, if you're found guilty of a DUI, often we ask for time served. So you get credit for that time that you were in there. And on top of that, we'll ask that any remaining time be suspended. And we're often very successful in getting that done for our clients. Well, well, what kind of evidence do the officer need to stop me? All they need is a reasonable suspicion. They have to be able to articulate it. And for reasonable suspicion, to have reasonable suspicion, should I say, the officer likely will observe you driving an automobile on the highways of Mississippi in an impaired state. So you cross the double yellow line. You just gave the officer reasonable suspicion to pull you over on a DUI. Also, something you will often see is at the, the checkpoints. Officers will be looking for driver's license, proof of insurance, registration, and they're also going to be smelling whenever you pull up. They're going to be looking at your pupils. They're going to be listening to your speech, and they're also going to be looking at your driving. If you're missing any one of those documents I just mentioned, they have reasonable suspicion to stop you and go further. If they smell alcohol on your breath or marijuana in your car, then they have reasonable suspicion to dig a little bit deeper into it. So if you can eliminate those things, quite often you can eliminate the, the reasonable suspicion the officer has, and we've been successful at getting individuals off of DUIs based on that. Okay, now what they call the field test, do I have to take that? Absolutely not. I recommend that people do not take that because those tests are designed for people to fail. I've never seen anybody pass one of those tests completely stone cold sober at a demonstration or anything like that. They're designed for individuals to fail. That's all there is to it. And furthermore, all those tests do is give the officer probable cause or reasonable suspicion to take you down to the station and get you to blow on the big intoxilizer 8000. Furthermore, even if you pass on the intoxilizer 8000, they may argue that you are still impaired under the common law based on how you feel, how you performed on your field sobriety test. So I recommend that people do not attempt to do those. Just go ahead and go to the station is usually the best thing to do. Okay, now here's here's something um, I I heard. Uh, request a hearing. Um, what is that? How does that work? It depends what type of hearing you are talking about. If you are talking about a petition to uh, determine whether or not a breath test refusal occurred, then that's generally a completely separate matter from a DUI. Once they arrest you, they will give you a piece of paper. It says appear on court on this date. And what that is, is that's your initial appearance where you go and you plead guilty or not guilty. If you retain the services of an attorney, one of the first things that we do is enter what is called an entry of appearance filed with the court. And it says, I'm your attorney. We're entering a plea of not guilty. Set this matter for trial. And at that point, the court is usually pretty prompt about just going ahead and giving us a trial date and saves clients at least one appearance in court usually. Okay, all this stuff uh, that we've been talking about, how long does it take? Usually from the time that an arrest occurs to the time of the trial is around three to four months. Sometimes it can be a little longer, and in some circumstances it's just a little bit less. But three to four months is a pretty fair average, especially in the Jackson metro area of what you can expect on a, a DUI, how long it will take. Thanks for listening to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Call attorney Franks for a free consultation at 601-773-7777. His website is thefrankslawfirm.com.